hey guys so we are off again um brian is gonna be coming from work so i hope he makes it um because he really only has an hour but my uber is here so i'm gonna go i'll meet you back at the airport what's up man gang so i actually just got off work um i went to rochester new york only for me to turn around and have to run to Terminal C to go right back to New York. Because Alec and I are going to LaGuardia, New York. <laughs> um, New York, New York. So we'll be there hopefully by 440 if there's no delays. So I actually need to hustle because the flight leaves at 2. We start boarding at 125 and it is currently 1240. So I need to make sure I make it to the gate. So see you when I get there. Hey guys, I just made it to the airport. Um, we're actually heading to New York today, if Brian didn't already tell you, but this is my first time in Terminal C. So I'm kind of a little excited to see this part because this is the newest part of the Orlando airport. Um, so yeah, this would definitely, oh, it looks so new and looks so different from the other side. Yeah, but I am gonna try and see if I can figure out what gate I'm supposed to be leaving out of because it wasn't on my boarding pass uh, but yeah let's see if I can get through hopefully um, TSA isn't like how it is over the main part of the airport um, it doesn't look like it should be though but let's get some looks of what in here looks she like Please stand clear of doors and hold on to handrails. When the terminal link stops, please exit to Terminal C, Parking C, and the train station. The doors are now opening. Please exit to... Alright guys, I made it to Terminal C, so I am now about to walk through the doors. I gotta go through the parking garage first. And then make it to this gate. Alright, so I made it to the terminal. Alec is here, he's in line. Um, I'm, his experience doesn't seem to be going so good. He said he's been in a line for a while and only three people have gone through. So this is our first time in this terminal. So I'm not sure what the issue is, but hoping I don't have issues with KCM because we really don't have time to play because we'll miss this flight if we don't so hopefully I'll run into him or maybe he can beat me to the gate but I need to pay attention because I don't know where I'm going okay I have made it through TSA uh, Alex still hasn't so I'm going to stand to the side and wait for him um, until he does so today I actually went through KCM here, but I didn't go through, I didn't get approved to go through. So I ended up having to go through regular pre-check. So it took me a little longer than normal, but I still beat him. So I'm hoping that he can make it in time so, so we can make this flight. Good thing is, is if we don't make this one, there's one at 250, which is a 50 minute difference from our original. So it's not that bad. But yeah, so far so good. This is a really pretty terminal. Like, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but this is like Orlando's newest addition to their airport it was built it was finished like late last year so it was my first time in here it's actually really really nice really clean but they don't seem to have the tsa together yet so hoping they get that together <sighs> i hope that this is not a telling sign of how this trip is gonna be because i spent 50 minutes in tsa um, I was near to the front of the line because there was barely anybody in there, but they only had one line working to go through the actual security checkpoint where you do the baggage check and whatever. Um, of course, they opened up two other lines, but I was already too close to the front, only to realize that it seems like the conveyor belt 
and one of them wasn't really working properly coupled with they had some wheelchair assists and then it seems as though there's also somebody new working <sighs> good thing that we are not the kind of people that come to the airport close to the time when we have to leave so we still have like 20 minutes before boarding is gonna start um, and I'm gonna go and find Brian because he actually got through over here before I did. Yeah, neither of us are happy with how today is going. Um, it is a little bit chaotic, not gonna lie. I'm a big bit chaotic, actually. <laughs> so, we're still trying to figure out if we're gonna make it on this flight. We're traveling by a jet plane today. Um, yeah, so, wish us luck. So, lo and behold, we did not get on that flight. Um, they're only accepting two more people and we are the next two people after those two get through. Um, so there is another flight that leaves, I think, 50 minutes later. So we may be able to catch that. Uh, we'll see. If we don't, I don't know that we're going to go because honestly, this whole day for more than one reason just hasn't been going our way. And you know, when your spirit just tell you something is off, you should really follow that gut feeling, you know? So... So we'll see, yeah. We'll, we'll let you know if we got on the next one. Hey guys, so they transferred us to another flight, but it's what, two hours from now, an hour and something from now. But we see that there's one going to, we're initially going to LaGuardia. There's another one that's going to JFK. That's the one that's really 50 minutes um, difference from the one that we're originally supposed to hop on to. So we're trying to see if we can get on this one, I'm going to JFK, because it's not a huge time difference from where we need to be, right? Right. Yeah. So if we don't make it on this one, I don't know that we're going to make it to New York, because um, the next one doesn't until 4. Mm -hmm. That one is over so mm -hmm. The next one after that isn't until 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I've been up since 3. And I'm not staying at the airport now. So. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, so we'll, we, we will see. We will see. As I said, if it's not meant to happen, it's not meant to happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, it is what it is. So, we made it. Mm -hmm. To JFK. Yeah. Two middle seats, though. Yeah, so no airplane B roll. <laughs> <laughs> and we're sitting separately as well. Mm -hmm. So, not ideal, but we're gonna get there. Touchdown in NYC. Yes, yes. How you feel now? Are you like okay now? Yeah. I didn't have the best plane right here, but <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> My plane ride was actually not too bad. I sat next to somebody who was really, really nice. Was extremely nice. He was very positive. Mm -hmm. it, was a, it was a good plane. That's good. We we are actually both beside um, wheelchair assist people, and I had to help mine out, but. Like the space for mine was crowded because the trio in another row big. <laughs> but he was a yeah, bad bro. Tell the oh. truth. <laughs> but he was a sweet guy, sweet sweet guy, also from Jamaica too. So we were talking. He was talking most of the time. <laughs> yeah, but we're just waiting on our Uber now. Um, there it goes. Is this it right here? Okay, great. So let's go.
what's going on mass gang i'm at my best friend's lino's house and we are um i'm actually having some champagne and we're helping him set up for his pop-up tomorrow at the vegan fest uh, with Corey LeRae and Rick Ross headlining or opening the show um, I'm on entertainment duty while well, they all cook so Alec is over here mashing tostones or ripe green plantains is what you call them so <laughs> Papi Soleil. <laughs> Good morning, Mass Gang. Good morning. I'm joking. What? Nothing. What are you joking? What? what? How'd you sleep? I slept well. That's good. How did you sleep? I slept good. It was cold, but I liked it. Yeah. Like, we were right underneath the, the vent. But it kept me sleeping. Yeah, but I mean, the comforter is actually very warm too. Mm -hmm. So I was just snuggled down by the entire time. Yeah. So day one of New York, how you feeling? I mean, is this day one? Or does this count as day two now? Well, I guess day Last one night? was... I was speaking, how did you feel about day one? And now we're going into day two. Okay. Uh, I mean, day one was cute. We went to a restaurant around the corner. Mm -hmm. We don't um, even know the name, do we? No. Damn. But, I mean, we can figure that out. Mm -hmm. um, but the food there was good. Uh, we had it was my first time eating fries with chopsticks. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even try to do it with chopsticks. Oh, yeah. But that was, it was like an Asian fusion restaurant, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the food was very good. The drinks were good too. Yeah. Yeah, your drink tasted like cologne, but <laughs> <laughs> it did not. Yours was really good though. Yeah, I enjoyed mine. Um, and then it was fun last night. Like I didn't expect to, you know, be working. But you know me, I like to keep busy, especially mm -hmm. when it's in this kind of environment. Mm -hmm. um, and it was cool to see what goes behind making vegan food. Mm -hmm. So I'm like really interested to see today how it all comes together. Um, and yeah, I learned some things in the process, so who knows, maybe we might add some stuff to what we normally eat I'm down. and mix it up a little bit. I'm not opposed to that at all. Yeah, but it was cool. Um, that's good. I didn't get to stay up that long because I had been up since three o'clock that morning, so I was falling asleep with the laptop in my hand. Yeah, we never finished. Uh, so he went to bed like 11. We sent him up at 11. Yeah, I was trying. <laughs> I was trying. And then we never finished until like 2, a little bit after 2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we've been up. We, we stayed up until like 2 a.m. or after that, yeah, because I came up, took a shower, and then I went to bed. Yeah, so I'm excited for today. I hope all of his stuff sells out quickly uh not quick enough for me to not get a plate because i really i haven't tried any of it yet so i want to have some but yeah i hope it does sell out quick and we can enjoy the festival because it's from 11 to 7 but he can't leave until it's done yeah so even if they sell out they stay there until mm -hmm. seven um so we're anticipating we'll be finished around nine like be back here for nine mm -hmm. with pack up and all of that yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, we'll see what the rest of the night holds. Mm -hmm. We'll see what these veggie patties are doing. Yeah, they left longer. some downstairs, so we're probably going to have that before we leave. Mm -hmm. Bye. How is your vegan patty? It's good. It is, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, I like the the puff pastry on the outside. Mm -hmm. And then that's the veggie filling on the inside. I know you can't really tell. Very good. Okay. This is very good. 
this. It actually tastes just like I'm trying to imagine, trying to remember patties from where, but the filling tastes exactly like veggie patty filling that I'm used to. And it's like a crust, huh? And Jamaican patty crust. Mm -hmm. Not from tasty, but like from, and not from juicy beef. Cause juicy beef, I think, has like a lot of pacho in there. Mm -hmm. But with the cabbage, with some sort of bean in there, yeah, this is very good. I have a pot somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A lemonade mimosa? I guess. Okay, bartender. I really don't know. Um. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Okay guys, so we left the house because we are heading to the event. We're supposed to be getting on the train, I guess, to head over there. But um, this is actually my second time to New York with Brian. An interesting fact, the first time we came, that's literally the first vlog that we ever shot for Meet the Maslins. So this is kind of our return to New York. Um, it's kind of a different look that we're giving this time though, in terms of the experience but making the most of it and we're still trying to do some stuff here because it's still kind of new to me so you got it cola champagne is good with me uh -huh. yeah so brian is getting me a chopped cheese which we were looking for the last time and could not get so we just stopped by a bodega and we are getting it now so excited to try that for the first time funny that i'm doing this right before we go to a vegan festival but hey <laughs> It is now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Smell check. Smell good. Okay. Smells like cholesterol and <laughs> beef and cheese. Perfect. Okay. Let's you have to tell me if this is what the authentic thing looks like. Okay. You cut it, right? There. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's a chopped cheese. Oh, you can't catch the smoke. You can't? Mm -mm. Oh, look at that. Look good. Yeah. All right, let's see how you like it. I mean, I can already tell I'm going to love this, though. Oh, that's so hot. You should be used to it with the patties. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not going to listen to this now. This is good. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a little piece of cow before we went to the vegan fest. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next time, um, I'll definitely like, add more stuff to it too mm -hmm. and see. But I love this. Good. I'm very easy to please. Meat, cheese, and carbs. Yeah. All right. Well, enjoy. Made it to Randall's Park. That's the name of Randall's Island. Sorry. Yeah, we have a walk about 20 minutes. I mean, this is the the, the area is called that. No, I, mean, I honestly don't know. How, GPS is saying that we're 20 minutes away but from the stadium. A, they had to stop us at on the highway because they had it blocked off. So we didn't have to walk the rest of the way. So we're walking down the ramp of a highway. 
request for this book. I'm a, you know I'm going to um, request a refund, right? Right? And it already took us so long to get to this point. Right. Yeah, because we ended up not going via trains because it would have taken us way too long to get here. <sighs> but clearly, it wouldn't have really mattered. Between the traffic with the motorcade, that just happened a while ago. And then now being dropped off randomly at the side of the road. Yeah. Um, yeah, we probably could have taken that train. Well, we'll let you know when we reach there. So we finally made it to Vegandale. Um, this place is packed. This is a whole lot of people. So now we're trying to find Lionel's tent for Papi Soleil. We're looking for yellow. So let's see. Look at this line. Jeez. Okay, friend. Papi Soleil doing things. in the shade to just have a little seat but this has been really cool this is extremely well supported first off like this is a huge 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 turnout people i think are here from all over um because from what i understand it is a series of them so they do have them in different places but yeah it's been really nice we met one of our mass gang people in person so big up to antonio that's also really cool like we love being able to see all these supporters of us in the different states that we go to and the food has actually been really good too so those coladas that you saw that we had we had a mango and pina colada um, they're extremely fresh it wasn't too sweet and the weather is really really nice out here i think this is low 70s that we're experiencing right now so it has been a really cool day which you know brian appreciate because you know him get hot easy uh but yeah his friend line has been long from the moment we got here this is like almost two hours later the line is still there with no end in sight uh so that's really really good what we had was um grill it's so uh, it's he makes it from jackfruit because it's the substitute that he's using for pork uh it tasted really good like i really really enjoyed it the bite isn't as chewy or as solid as pork would be but it really stood up well being deep fried the way that it was and it takes sauce amazing so i i really 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 enjoyed that it has been interesting to see like the things that people use as substitutes for the meat but yeah would i go vegan probably not <laughs> but this definitely opened my eyes and i would be open to trying different things so we're gonna go back to his booth see if he needs anything from us and then after that we'll probably do another little merry-go-round of the, the venue because it looks like things are starting to ramp up now in terms of the performances so we're probably going to try and see if we can catch at least coil array depending on what time she comes on because things seem to be winding down just a little bit now okay guys so we are on another food break now what is this now this is a pumpkin cake with crema um Cremas. But, so, do you know what Kermas is? I don't really know. <laughs> I know it's a sweet cream that they use to like sweeten things. Uh -huh. he, he compared it to like coquito that it can be a drink as well. Mm -hmm. um, but he's using it as a drizzle on this pumpkin cake. You see a little Haitian flag. Um, yeah, but Papi Soleil is doing it big out here. Listen. His line is still going. Still going. What time is it now? Five? Mm -hmm. They got it here at seven. They opened at 11. Six hours later, they're still endless line yeah endless line which is good though i'm really really happy for him we just had his vegan mac and cheese it was actually really really good and i'm always skeptical when it comes to vegan cheese but it was good 
This is good. Yeah, you, you like the pumpkin cake? Mm -hmm. Look at you! I, mean, I, know, right. Right I know you're not oh a huge gosh. pumpkin fan yeah. like that. I'm not, but I love this. Okay, well, I'm gonna go and have oh, mine. So I'll see you in a little bit. expected it was gonna take and then packing up took even longer yeah but we made it back and we found our way back to the same bodega that we went to earlier <laughs> I look really like a uh, chopped cheese, so he's getting another one. Yeah, so I'm doing more stuff on it. Um, and then, I mean, the vegan food that we had was good, but honestly, it feels like it ran through our body really quickly. So, still hungry. Good morning, guys. Gotta be very quiet. But it's time to go. This is only a few hours later with very, very, very little sleep. It's about 4 a.m. now, and we're gonna head to the airport. I thought I said 6.40, so it's time for us to get out of here. Mm -hmm. I just wanna get in the Uber so I can sleep on the way to the airport. So, you ready? I got what you need, so come share my world. I wanna let you know that you don't have to go. Don't wonder no more what I think about you. If it's something that you want, then you should make me your girl, your girl. If it's something that you need, then baby, come and share my world. Hey guys, yeah, so we are back in Orlando. Um, yeah, that trip felt too quick. Yeah, it felt quick, it didn't feel long at all. So, yeah, I guess you're right. It wasn't long, like, I, I just feel like it was very busy, mm -hmm. much busier than I think we would like. But mm -hmm. it really was a trip with a purpose because it was to support Brian's friend Lionel. Mm -hmm. um, happy to report that it was a success for him. They sold out a little bit before the event actually ended. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a wonderful day for them. They, I mean, if you could have seen the amount of food that was made from how many ovens? Two ovens, couple burners in the house. They were going for hours and hours and hours. Um, but yeah, the vegan food actually, I like. I surprisingly enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was very good. It's just not sustainable. Yeah, I don't think I I could have done <laughs> vegan food because I feel like if we had the option to like have differences in the cuisine like that here, mm -hmm. but I would have to buy that because I'm not gonna sit down to try and make the alternatives. But yeah. it was good to have that experience. 
Um, I'm also really happy that the second chopped cheese that I got, um, I got a recommendation to add like ketchup, mustard, mayo, tomatoes, lettuce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Nothing at all. I'm glad you enjoyed it. No, the first one was good. The first one was really good. And the first one was really hot mm-hmm. and fresh. The second one, like having all the stuff in there, it was top tier. I really, I really, really enjoyed it. So my chopped cheese experience is now fulfilled. Um, I mean, the first time that we went to New York together, I don't think we got the full New York experience. I still don't feel like we've gotten that. What do you mean? The first time we went, the place was empty because of COVID. So when you when you say the New York experience, you mean like the crowded Times Square and all that? Yeah, like I want to see people about the place, and it was better when we went. <laughs> like that was the better New York experience. Mm, okay, because it's you know me and crowds. I I was ready to go in two minutes. It, it's you got a very good experience. Okay, well at least I got the chopped cheese this time. Yeah, which I didn't get the last, the last time. time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I'm sure New York will see us again. Maybe not so soon. <laughs> I think of all the places that we've been, New York is maybe one of the places that we know that we wouldn't want to live. Mm-hmm. Because, and not because it's bad or anything, but it literally is a concrete jungle. Yeah, that, and to be completely honest, if I could do New York, I would love to live in New York. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm a little slower paced than New York. Mm-hmm. New York is constant go. Mm-hmm. And that's just not my, it's not who I am. I'm a little slower. Yeah. So New York is too fast for me, but I love it there. I love the inclusivity. I love how diverse how the place diverse. is. Yes. Everybody can be in the same space and like get along. Yeah. Because when we were there in that Brooklyn era, we actually passed, I don't know if you see it in the video clearly, but we passed like a Jewish community. And I was shocked to see, like, how many, how big that community was. And then the event that we were at, like, you had people from everywhere there. Like, black, white, Hispanic, it it didn't matter, Caribbean. It just felt like such a good mix of people. So I, I really appreciated that part. But other than that, I feel like too much... Ooh, Sorry. Almost deaf me. Mm-hmm. Um, too much of a concrete jungle for my liking, but definitely somewhere that we would visit again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we know it was a short trip. It really was a short trip for us, too. Mm. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. <laughs> please remember to share the video. I heard the struggle. What? I heard the struggle. Yes. And then I'm like wondering what you pick it out of my hair. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyways, guys, yeah, and if you haven't already, do what? Subscribe. All right. Bye. You want with me, you want with me.